when we talk about building a brand, right? Um, we've all heard the, 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 the topic of becoming a celebrity in your marketplace, positioning yourself as a celebrity. Um, and I think it comes from a key principle that in, in any business, this transcends industries is attention is extremely important. Attention is, is everything, right? If you have the, if you have a restaurant that has the best food in the world, but you're the only one that knows about it, you're going to fail as a restaurant. If you're a loan officer that has an insanely valuable thing that you bring to the industry, um, the way you service clients, the way you service, uh, the way you um, build realtor relationships, if you, if you have value to add, the only way you're going to be successful, forget that, right? If you don't have the attention, you're not going to be successful. So I said to myself, all right, if, if I want to serve the most people, I have to be where most people are. And that is social media. How do we gain attention? Branding, right? Now, the question is, how do we make a, a good brand? So that's what I'm, the first thing I'm going to touch on today. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not that big of a notes person, but I wanted to do this right. Um, and I did, I did uh, write some notes. So you may see me look to my left and that's, that's what I'm doing. So just some accomplishments that I've been able to uh, have in my business uh, from implementing these strategies before I go over them. Uh, I was voted top 40 under 40 in the, in the country. Most, most influential mortgage professionals uh, like, like uh, Nick mentioned my IG following. I've been speaker. I've been a speaker at um, events across the country. I'm talking Boston, Miami with Nick, which was an amazing time uh, events here in long Island. Um, and then I, we also started the, the brewery event, which our last event had, I think 140 people attended. Um, and this event that was supposed to happen on March 31st, we had 240 people register and I think we could have broke 300, but obviously we had to postpone it because of what's going on in the world, which by the way, if you're, I know in New York, we're getting hit very bad. So shout out to my New Yorkers. Um, shout out to any, any, anybody that's going through this. We're all going through this together. Um, and speaking on that. This is a perfect time to build a brand. I think Renee said it yesterday. Renee Rodriguez, who is incredible, right? Um, I've, I've actually attended some, uh, one of his masterminds and I, I, leave the, uh, I left a changed person. Like you can't go to one of his events and come out the same, right? I, I went to one of his events and, and incredible experience. But anyway, he said yesterday that the brand that you build right now is going to follow you for many, many years. And I could not agree more right now is a perfect time. Like I was just mentioning, most people are on social media now more than ever. Like it, it was, it was a lot of people before now everybody's on social media. Everybody's constantly looking. So if you're building a brand and putting out content during this time, it's only going to help you. It's only going to help you. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you can't do a loan, you know, below a 700 credit score and, you know, below a 20% down payment. If you're putting out content right now, maybe not, maybe don't talk about that, but if you're putting out content right now, that's valuable. You're going to win. You're going to win. So how do we build a brand? Uh, I think the best definition of brand that I've ever heard was Jeff Bezos. And he said, uh, your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room, right? You already have a brand. I want, to, I want to be very, very clear. You already have a brand. You have to ask yourself now, now that you're becoming conscious of it, which is one of the other principles that I, I want you guys to take away from this, is you have to be conscious about your message, the content you're putting out there, and who you are as a person because that is your brand. And as soon as you're conscious of it, you can start to tweak it in ways where you're going to see more results. But you have to be conscious that you already have a brand. Now you have to ask yourself, what, what is that brand? right? Um, what brand do you have right now? And what brand do you want to have? And how can you bridge the gap? Right? Uh, now, well, like I said, I think the best brands start with some deep soul searching. So ask yourself those questions, you know, who are you? What do you love? What's your mission statement? So for me, I love people. Um, and my mission statement is to remove average from real estate by adding value to consumers and, and real estate professionals. Um, every brand has a mission statement, right? And it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be that, that, that long thing that I just said, right? 
Nike, just do it. Like Renee said yesterday, you know, um, all state, you're, you're, you're in good hands, right? So every there's, there's the brand and then the mission statement, make sure you can nail down both and make sure it's authentic to you. Right. Um, now after you build your brand, your mission statement, your mission statement kind of piggybacks on your value proposition, right? So my value proposition, and, and this is the thing, all of these things, one without the other, don't equal the best result. You have to have all of them, right? You can have attention, but no value proposition. You can have a value proposition with no attention. They, they both have to be present. So our value proposition or my value proposition, and bef- let me take it a step back, before you identify your value proposition, you have to identify your target audience, right? I want, you guys to, I want you guys to change your mindset on the way you market on social media. Um, this was one of the biggest paradigm shifts that I had that has allowed me to see success in my business using social media and the strategies that I'm going to go over shortly. I'm not, I'm not on social media to get borrowers. I'm not on social media to get customers. I'm on social media to get referral partners. Very, it, because the odds of a random person finding me on Instagram, even with my following, yes, it has happened, but it's usually through somebody that referred over, which was going to happen anyway. But the odds of somebody coming to your Facebook profile, friending you and saying, hey, can I get a mortgage are very, very slim unless you're doing some sort of paid advertising. So I want you guys to market to real estate agents. 